Check this out. I've seen a bunch of these on the road. I've never seen one stopped before. So this is cool. This is like a great DIY trick for making vehicles. So it's two parts. First, we have a trailer that's, as you can tell, is handmade out of wood and has this standardized uh, these wheels and the standardized bolt on. You see that bolt? Missing bolt. Um, <laughs> missing bolt. Bolt. Right there. Uh, that's how this works. Oh, is this okay? Is it okay? May I? Can I take a video? Is that all right? Uh, so this, we have that, and then it's okay? It's okay? It's okay? And then we have this hook up here, like a U-joint. This is this goes between the, the put together wooden rear and then the mass produced part, which has Mr. Engine, Mr. Tiller Engine, Mr. Headlight and everything. These standardized wheels, you see all the axles bolt on, you see that? The spines and everything. And then we have the, the tiller handle. Is it okay? Thank you. I'll, I'll quit. I'll quit. Uh, that, that must be a shifter, I guess. And then you have uh, the, 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 the handles, I guess, that are clutch or brake or something. And then the directions on always stop the power tiller. So this is made for farm work, but they're also used on the highway at about like 15 miles an hour. And they're always going. Is, okay, I, thank you very much. I'm Craig. Hi. Very good. Okay, thank you. Awkward. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, this is so great. All right. Bye bye. Bye guys. That is it. I have been wanting to make that little video. Oh, check it out. See what I'm talking about? Check out my man. See? Look at all that wood. Look at all that. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. There they go. Down the road. Okay, so anyway, my point in all that is that you had the mass produced in China power tiller part in the front, which clearly comes a million miles an hour out of some factory somewhere. And then you have people can improvise whatever they need in the back. That's the cool thing. So like the steering, the prime mover, all that kind of stuff. That all comes super, super cheap. But then you can customize just with woodwork even whatever you need the back to be. I think that's kind of cool. Also, it's kind of nice because in a, in a flat country like this, you can use just a little bit of power with low enough gear to, just to pull any damn thing you want, really, because there's no hills out here. But really, that, that was clearly invented for pulling things through fields, and that's fine. Uh, but they figured out how to make road vehicles and road transport out of the kit. Okay. Okay, I had to get that out. Bye-bye. Ah, hey, uh, post-production research here. So, this is what they look like in the field. Eh, in the field. This is what they look like in the field. It's a pull behind tractor. That's what this is. Here we have it with these uh, with these paddle wheel looking looking wheels, and I've never seen those before. But uh, but they they must do that four bolt on and off the very same way that we had seen the axles and the wheels bolt onto the uh, machines that we saw outside on the street today, right? In here, cue to Craig, in here are some promotional pictures 
of them being ready to be sold with different sorts of uh, pull-behind uh, contraptions. So it's a walk-behind tractor. That's what it is. It's a walk-behind tractor. Small enough that these folks can afford one, clearly, or a financer, you know, whatever. Uh, and uh, that that's the deal. That's what this really is, and that's the function it's serving. And, uh, of course, therefore, that towing uh, coupling device that we saw between you know, on the street between the one that we saw on the street and that long wooden trailer, that coupling piece, that would be a standard part, and you could buy more of those. So that way you could take the, the, uh, the tractor power tiller that you have and swap out what it's pulling. Sometimes it's pulling this, sometimes you're pulling that, you know, etc. Right, what an invention. Of course, it'd be so unbelievably not street legal in the States, but wouldn't it be cool just to rump, rumble, bumble along in one of these at home? Maybe if you wore, maybe if you got blinkers and if you wore a helmet, you could get away with it. How would you license it? You, you got to admit, though, that'd be kind of dope. All right, see ya.